South Korea unveils a project worth billions of dollars today for key sectors that include chips and secondary batteries. This comes as part of the country's latest efforts to bridge the technological gap between rivals and maximize production. Our Moon ae has the details. South Korea's Ministry of Trade, Industry and Energy held a roundtable on Monday with chief technology officers from nine South Korean firms, including Samsung Display, Hyundai Motor and POSCO, to discuss investment plans for the year ahead. The government announced that it will be spending 70 percent of its annual budget for research and development across 40 different projects in 11 key investment areas, those being semiconductors, displays, secondary batteries, feature mobility, core materials, advanced manufacturing, robots, aerospace and defense, advanced bio, next generation nuclear power, and new energy industries. The ministry explained that the public and private sectors will be working together to establish clear goals and investment directions for each sector and focus their investment on selected strategic projects. In the past, the government faced criticism for its unclear approach to investments in research and development, but through collaboration with the private sector, it hopes that it will be able to invest wisely. Furthermore, a project manager group will be formed to manage the process of technological development, commercialization and talent development. With the slump in the semiconductor industry amid falling semiconductor prices and the economic slowdown affecting exports, the government plans to invest in four semiconductor projects to revitalize the industry. These include developing semiconductors for mobility, energy and home appliances, as well as pursuing semiconductor technology development projects for autonomous vehicles. As of Monday, the government has identified 34 projects to invest in. This will later be expanded to 40 projects after further consultation with experts. Moon Hye-ryeon, Arirang News.